keep telling people that Nollywood is a spiritual place. We need to be very, very careful. One, in the type of roles that we accept. Rights as an actor, you need to know that you have rights. You should be able to say, I don't have a life jacket. I'm not going anywhere. I don't swim. Because you have right to a body double. If they don't like it, they can get someone else. You will not die. There's several other roles that you can play. Hello guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. You're welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Guys, I don't want to waste your time. I would like to play you guys this video and see what is going on. About Junior Pope, you know. Benedict Johnson. You guys know Benedict Johnson. This is our Nollywood actor. And our Hollywood actress, Ida. Let me play you guys this video. Hear what they said on this video. Benedict Johnson has exposed the evil thing that is going on in the Nollywood industry. Ah! Oh, God. You see, eh? what just happened now is Junior Pope was now the person who now opened the light. You know, evil thing has been going on in the Nollywood industry. But a lot of people... Don't have that courage to speak out. But since this incident happened, just watch. All the Nollywood actors, all the Nollywood actresses, they are not coming out now to speak about that industry. That the industry is evil. A lot of things has been going on there all these years. But these guys, it seems they were scared to speak. But since this incident happened, about the, you know, solid dismiss of junior pope all of the highs now opened they now have the courage to speak just listen to benedict johnson and ida hear what they said they will come back to put our own take on this issue like i said benedict johnson said the industry is evil a lot of atrocity not just junior pope alone people has been passing in that industry a lot of people has been ROIP in that industry. But Junior Pope is now the light that shined in the darkness in the industry that is exposing them now. Watch this video, they will come back. Please do me a favor, I beg you. F just share this video. First, let me play you guys Nollywood Ventura actress, Ida. Then I play you guys Benedict Johnson. Watch this video, they will come back. My condolences to every one of us practitioners of Nollywood. We have lost five of our colleagues, two sound engineers, a makeup artist, an actor, and a production assistant. We have lost them to unavoidable death avoidable because all they needed to do to have given them fighting rights would have been to give them a life jacket when you get in your car it is a requirement by law that you wear your seat belt when you board an aircraft by law and by practice you wear your seat belt when you get on the boat you wear your life jacket. Now you get to a jetty and the boat driver says there are no life jackets. You tell him thank you very much. As a producer who is expected to be prepared, you should have made arrangements for life jackets. Just in case the boat driver didn't have them. You will dress your own people up because by law and by practice, you wear your life jackets. For those of us who are from the River Rhine, some of us can swim, some of us understand the tide. And so we may be able to speculate. But for a group of people who are not good swimmers, don't understand the tide, you put them in the boat without a life jacket and you have the man ferrying them as an excited young man who has his ears blocked with earpod, probably listening to some music. And then he's the one ferrying people 
no preparedness for anything. No God, nothing. The access is nothing to an inept producer. You put them. And even the people themselves, you have your rights as an actor. You need to know that you have rights. You should be able to say, I don't have a life jacket. I'm not going anywhere. I don't swim. Because you have right to a body double. If they don't like it, they can get someone else. You will not die. There's several other roles that you can play. Yes, money is hard. The economy is hard. But you see, life is priceless. Today we have a young girl who is her family's sole breadwinner. Gone. What will that family say or do? As a producer, it is a requirement that you do your job in a safe, secure, and free of intimidation environment. That's where you are expected to do your work. You need to be prepared or you don't start. You don't go to location without being prepared. You waste the time of people. And that's why we have all these kinds of unnecessary deaths. When people are not sick of high blood pressure, they're sick of diabetes and kidney or lifestyle based. Question is, what is the lifestyle of the average Nigerian actor? And I'll tell you, work 18 hours, eat chaff instead of food. It's carbohydrate, carbohydrate that comes too late sometimes. People work and then they eat at 12 midnight just before bed. And what do you think all that blood sugar will do? When that jam or rice or gari breaks down, it becomes sugar, a bee. And then people start when it starts most times before you know all the money that they have worked up that period and saved up all of it goes back to doctors and then when nobody can carry it anymore we come to the public cap in hand and mecca rulers where are you this is the one time that we require you to put this up the actors welfare must be put on the table we can't have everybody use us third largest producers of film uh, second highest employer of youth labor blah, and all for what everything we are the image makers so we can't allow this happen if we down tools everybody will down tools let's put the actor's welfare on the table we can't take one more unnecessary death this death was avoidable if the actor stood their ground and said no we're not boarding until we have life jackets somebody will be alive today if the producer made arrangements and ensured that there were life jackets today the story will be different so nobody should talk to me about faith there is no faith you people think all that god did was just so you can die untimely and and in this manner the actor's welfare on the table please this is so sad so so sad I have not been myself since yesterday. The news of Julio Pope's death devastated me. As you can see, I'm still on top of the bed. I can't even do anything. I kept thinking, what has become of Nollywood? Why so many deaths? Every now and then, people, what is going on? We need to sit down and ask ourselves questions. I keep telling people that Nollywood is a spiritual place. We need to be very, very careful. One, in the type of roles that we accept. 
If you are set to play a particular role, please try and make some inquiries before embarking on such job. Some job you heard him, you heard her. You guys heard what is said. See, it has happened, we know. But the issue right here is we understand Junior Pope never wore his life jacket. But with what we are saying, Junior Pope was beaten. Junior Pope was beaten. That's outside. Okay, pertaining the industry. What is going on in that industry is terrible. Like what? Benedict Johnson just said, the industry is dark. The industry is evil. I dropped a video on my YouTube. And somebody went there and started telling me, oh, what you are doing, you are trying to drag the industry down. Nollywood has been here for a very long time. This, see, my brother, Nollywood don't there for a very long time. Not there. See, why is it that many of you don't understand? You don't understand what is going on. Many of you don't understand what is going on. Junior Pop's Arrow IP has exposed the evil going on in Hollywood industry. For the past few years now, a lot of people has been Arrow IP in that industry, but nobody has been born to come outside to speak. But since the past of uh, Junior Pop, many of them is now coming out to express yourself, tell to the world what is going on in the industry. We all know what happened to Junior Pope was the setup. It was the target. And if you heard for the first video I did on this platform, Junior Pope has been blacklisted. Mm -hmm. Junior Pope has been blacklisted in the industry. Nobody can use him. But Adama look. I told you guys I'm coming back. Many of you are attacking me about the video I did for late Junior Pope's wife and Adam and Luke and other people and uh, Junior Pope friend who came out to, you know, discuss about what Junior Pope told him. I can see a lot of comment there talking, oh, were yeah, you there? How did you know? Don't worry. I'm coming to bring that, break it down for you, for you to understand. Let me put that aside. Benedict Johnson, let us to know that the Nollywood industry is dark. That is what is going on. Not just Benny Johnson alone. If you see, many of them are coming out to speak. So that is what we need. A lot of them got to come outside. Alice, is it not Alice in name, the, the manager of the Nollywood or stuff like that? I don't know. You see, these people, they've done more harm. Than good because many of them are, you know, occultic people. So before you go into or before you shoot any movie, according to Benedict Johnson, Google it. Just Google the content that you're about to ask. Know what this means before you can move further. If not, bro, something strange. You see, sometimes when some of them act this movie. After two, three months later, there will be a RIP. It is not because that movie gave them RIP. It is because the movie producer, those, the owner of the movie, has done something with them already. Has done something with them. So many of you need to be conscious of what you do. Yes, many of you need to be conscious. You want to be a star. But sometimes, look at where you are going to. If that place is safe for you or not. I will end this video in peace. But Junior Pope has exposed the darkness in the Nollywood industry. Mm -hmm. Look, Mr. Ibu, uh, a lot of people has passed on. Has passed on. I will end this video in peace. Please help to share this video as you all do so. God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye-bye.